Welcome to Specific Love. For this project, I'm going to show you how to make some artistic bookshelf with some angled supports. Let's begin. We were recently asked by a new business to create some custom shelves. So my wife searched the internet and found some bookshelves with some leaning supports. When a new owner approved, we set out to make something similar. I first jumped on SketchUp and set up a basic design. This was not hard, but the dimensions needed to be correct or the shelves would just look a little off. I then went shopping for some 1x4s and 1x10s. Once I had the drawing done, I transferred all the lengths and angles over to the 1x. Now I have to have roughly an 8.7 degree, yes, that's an odd angle to do on here so that it will angle with the boards on the bookshelf. So let's get cutting. And since I put all the markings on just one side of the board, I had to change the angle in which the spider saw is pointing, but still at roughly 8.7. Now even though these are cut at an angle, and if you were to measure actually from one end of the board to the other, it would measure a little over 59 inches. But right here, when you have it angled at the angle we want it, it's gonna be roughly 58 and a half. Now with the one by tens, I decided just to purchase one by 10 by eights to make this as simple as possible. We're gonna measure it out roughly in half, cut it, and these will be the flat shelves. Now I've cut out a number of these smaller pieces. I had to change my miter saw back to about 8.7 degrees so that these will fit on the back of each leg. And the reason why is of course it's angled so that it'll match the leg, but also so that it'll help support each shelf and just give it extra rigidity and strength. To attach these blocks to the back of each of the legs, I'm gonna be using these real small screws, but to keep from any chance of this splitting, I do need to drill out some holes. I'm gonna use some 3 32nd inch bit so that I can pre-drill all these and there's very little chance of splitting them. Now that we have everything marked, I'm gonna drill out these holes. And right after I drill those out, we're gonna screw these additional pieces right below it. And that way we can set the shelves right on top of there. Now we lay it on the floor to get a better idea before we attach it with the screws. Now to keep these boards a little more firm and from rocking back and forth, I'm using some corner squares, just gently clamped together. Now to go in the front of these supports into the actual shelves, I'm gonna be using some two and a half inch screws. Now on the front, this is the bottom here, and I'm coming in 12 inches, and on the top, it'll be roughly three inches. To try and keep all the boards as straight as possible, I used a two by four here, and then we're just trying to make sure each one of them butts up right to the edge of it, and that should keep it pretty much straight. And there you go, it is basically finished other than trying to protect it with some kind of layer of stain or paint or some kind of polyurethane, whatever you'd like to put on there. Now the new owners decided they want to have this in cherry stain, so we're gonna give it a nice good staining and see what it looks like afterwards. All right, now here's what it looks like after it was stained. We also have some other white versions that we did, so you can choose whatever works for you in your home or your office. I also have some other videos right over here, so make sure you check those out. Otherwise, have fun building. Try not to laugh at me, huh? <laughs> All I can think is take it away, take it away, take it away now. <laughs> video we're gonna create. Video, I guess. We're not this project. recording, but okay. Oh, I thought you were. Mm -hmm. For this project, we're gonna go, oh. okay. I'm sorry, I didn't see it at all.